Jack and the Beanstalk. Mm -hmm. Illustrated by Lorena Alvarez. <sighs> this is a wide one, so watch your face. <laughs> Jack and his mother were so poor, they never had enough to eat. One morning, they had nothing left at all. You'll have to take the cow to market and sell her, Jack's mother said sadly. On the way, Jack met a strange little man. I'll give you these for your cow, said the man, holding out five wrinkly dried beans. I need money, not beans, said Jack. Ah, but these are magic beans, said the little man. If you plant them, they'll grow into a beanstalk so tall it touches the sky. Amazing, said Jack. He gave his cow to the little man, took the beans, and ran off home. But when he got home, he was in trouble. Big trouble. What have you done? Jack, we need money, not beans, cried his mother, and she threw the beans out the window. You think she was mad? Mm-hmm. She looks a little bit mad. Poor Jack went to bed hungrier and gloomier than ever. What were they to do? In the morning, even his room seemed gloomy. His room seemed gloomy. Just a minute. Outside his window was a giant beanstalk, so tall it touched the sky. The little man was right, thought Jack. He scrambled onto the giant beanstalk and climbed up and up and up. And there at the top he found a giant castle with a giantess in front of it. Jack gulped. Then his tummy rumbled. Uh, excuse me, he called out. Please, could you spare some breakfast? That's pretty brave. Everybody knows giants eat little people. The giantess picked him up. My husband munches and crunches little people like you, she said. I'll give you breakfast, but you better be gone before my husband gets home. She whisked Jack inside and set him down next to an enormous crusty loaf. Breakfast had never tasted so good. Mmm, he says. That is a big loaf of bread. Yeah. I think I could eat it. Uh. You think you could eat that much bread? Uh, yeah. If a giant wasn't up there. What about the cheese? Mm, 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 mm. I could I could eat part of the cheese and sleep in one of the holes. If a giant wasn't there. But then, stomp, stomp, stomp. Quickly, hide in here. The giantess stuffed Jack into a pot, just as a giant strode into the kitchen. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. <laughs> Where is he? demanded the giant, and he started to search the table. You're imagining things, said his wife. Eat up your breakfast while I bring your hen. She returned with the hen and put it on the, the table. Lay, commanded the giant. Clink. The bird laid a gleaming golden egg. With a grunt, the giant closed his eyes and began to snore. The 
giantess lifted Jack out of the pot. Run for your life, she whispered. But Jack had his eyes on that hen. He grabbed the hen and fled for the door. The bird let out a squawk, which woke the giant, who saw Jack and let out a furious roar. Jack dived out the door and onto the beanstalk with the giant hot on his heels. Bye-bye. Jack scrambled down the beanstalk as fast as his legs would carry him. Is the giant gone yet? What's going on? shrieked his mother from below. Is that a, a giant? Just bring the axes, Jack cried. Jack and his mother chopped and chopped at the beanstalk. It creaked and it wobbled, then it toppled over sideways. The giant was flung far over the hills. They never saw him again. As for Jack and his mother, they lived happily ever after. Each morning the hen laid a golden egg, so they grew rich and Jack never climbed another beanstalk. It's, it's gone for good. About the story, Jack and the Beanstalk is an English fairy tale. The oldest known written version dates from 1807, but the story was from around long before. The cry, fie, fo, fum, also appears in William Shakespeare's play, King Lear. The end.